Hello everybody, praise be to God, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda 2 Adventure of Link. We are continuing where we left off last time in Palace Number 4, the Maze Island Palace. And already the enemies are being jerks. But I at least know what's coming in this dungeon, so hopefully I won't get ambushed by the unicorn head again. Hopefully. Man, 2,500 experience? That's... that's a tall order. Hey, you. Well, I'm gonna try to at least get past the life level up so I can get either a magic or a attack level up from the boss. Or from beating the dungeon. Eh. Get, get over here. Man, I'm having a hard time with the Stalfoses all of a sudden. <laughs> that's not the way it should be. Let's see... Yeah, I can keep going down. I don't have to fall down the pit. Hello. Let's go to this way, shall we? I should probably use Reflect a couple times in this dungeon just to kill the Wizrobes, because they are worth a lot of experience points. Oh, hi. They're back! I do not want that to happen. Well, I guess worst case scenario, I can always grind on those guys since they spawn infinitely. Oh no, I don't have enough magic for reflect? Oh, now I do. Take that. Nothing. Darn it. Alright, this is the room I died in last time because of the cheap enemy spawning. Yeah, take that. You kill me, I kill you. Fair is fair. Oh no. Well, I'm not dead just yet, but I'm getting close. Oh, hi. Alright, I should be able to get uh, reach a life level up in this dungeon just from killing enemies. Oh, hi. Don't like that. Yeah. Okay, that was embarrassing. Jumping on a flame. <laughs> Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Link can't jump over the candlestick, though. Hi. Ouch. I thought I killed you. I thought I killed you. I thought I killed you. Thank you. Welp! I'm about to die, but thankfully I have all three lives with me still. Alright, now that we've gone for that area and gotten a few keys, we can uh, go to the left of the dungeon to start. And that leads us over towards the boss. Yeah, I might as well just die there. This room, I think, has quite a few whiz robes that I want to get experience from. Also, you have to be fairly close to the wizard in order for the spell to get reflected into them. Because otherwise, they will disappear before it reaches them. Oh, that's good. Thank you. Actually, it'll still be a tall order. I still need over a thousand experience points to actually reach the life level up. 
This is where the upstab is going to come in handy. Oh, yeah. We're going to need the jump spell, though. This way, methinks. Hi. I forgot I had the jump spell on the screen. Boom. Thank you. Oh, hi. Let's be friends. Oh, I can't quite use the life spell. That's unfortunate. All right. Excellent. Oh, I still need a thousand more experience, and there's only a few more rooms left in the dungeon, so that's actually not good. I suppose I could leave the dungeon and just grind up on a couple of those, uh, tektites. There's a wizard on this screen, and I'm going to kill him. Oh, there's two wizards on this screen. I'm so glad I used Reflect. Ouch. Take that. The one consolidation is the boss of this dungeon is pretty darn easy. Alright, what's waiting for me in this room of despair? Hi. That is cheap enemy placement game. I don't like that. The only reason I was able to not die there is because I was expecting something like that to happen. Oh, yes, please, thank you. Out of my way, guys, I don't have time, guys, I've got to level up. Darn it, you can't jump on the elevator, and it's very irritating. Oh, Of all the things to, times to drop something like that. Alright, this is the last room before the boss, so... Thinks I'm gonna have to backtrack if I want to get enough experience. Oh, wait, a pee bag there. I'm a pee bag there! Oh, hallelujah, grace like rain. Alright, so I'm still 400 experience points short. The boss will give me a few, but it's not gonna give me enough, so I'm actually going to backtrack for a bit. Alright, also, now that we have the boots. These are some of the water tiles we can walk on. So, like, I can't walk to the right, but I can walk on here. It's, it's weird. So this will actually take us to the fifth palace, but that's not the reason I'm going this way. Yeah, that's the fifth palace that we can go to. Yeah. <laughs> it's like an invisible maze, but if we go up here... Heart container! I have no idea how you're expected to find that without a guide, but that's what you gotta do. Navigate an invisible maze using the water boots.
<laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I can now attempt the boss, because there's no way the boss is giving me less experience than a wizard. Cool, I can level up life. Ooh, or I could level up... Hmm. I really want that last attack level up. I can get a thousand more experience in this dungeon, I bet. Come on. Darn it. Stop jumping. Again, I've in the past, I have... I have paid dearly for playing this greedily, but this dungeon's not nearly as hard as the last one was in terms of enemies. Take that. Take that, Mace Knight. Because my life and magic at this point are the same level, so magic doesn't take a whole lot more experience to actually level up. Whereas my attack is one level higher, and it's attack, so 8,000 experience, yeah. It's a tall order. Alright, um... Might as well, I guess, explore down here. Just to see. Oh, that's right. What do you mean I don't have enough magic to use Reflect? I thought it only took, like, the same amount the shield did. My hard-earned experience points. Okay, well, if the wizard's gonna spawn on top of me, then sure. We need to just die. Infinitely spawning enemies that don't give you experience points. Who came up with that dumb idea? Why is it the magic jars always spawn when I'm on top of the crumbling bridge? Alright, I know there are two Stalfoses down here. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. <gasps> Thank you! Alright. Still not enough for me to comfortably say, yes, the boss is going to give me 250 experience. Still not comfortable with that. Again, playing with some serious fire here, but the boss is really not that bad. Unless I have really, really, really bad luck. But even then, I'm going to take precautions. No, to the right, all the, I think all to, that lies to the right is that room with those terrible unicorn heads. Bubbles eat my magic, and I need magic for the boss. For shield and things like that. Suppose I could just keep entering the dungeon until I get the red magic jar. Oh, God bless. Ouch. That's very rude, you know. Ah, you stupid Poe! I'm actually not going to deal with the wizards in this room. Because the wizards will appear in a later room. Take that. Alright. This is the room I'm using Reflect in. Cool. Let's go to the boss. I 
and get the last attack level up. Again, this is not necessarily a smart thing to do. This is just because it's super risky, but I really, really want that level up. Oh, shoot, there's another room after this. I was not expecting this. Get out of here. Of course. I thought there was... Oh, come on, my shield was up. Oh, come on! Well, you know what sucks? Now I need to grind up on magic. Yeah, I'm serious, because you need Reflect to be able to kill the boss. And I don't have enough magic to actually cast Reflect. Alright, so the map on my phone that I pulled up has lied to me and said that the next room was the boss room. That's not cool. Alright, this is the boss room. We're going to want Reflect. We're going to want Shield. This is the boss, Giant Wizrobe. He will teleport all over the place. So what you want to just do is get to this part of the map and just hold down and right. And odds are he's almost certainly not going to... S okay, yeah. He can spawn on you, but it's pretty rare. And doing this is the safest way to do it. There we go. And he's dead. That's why you equip shield, just in case he spawns on top of you and you take damage. You won't take much damage, and with Reflect, you can just reflect his magic spells back at him. And that is the only way to damage him. And final attack level up. Come to me. <laughs> Look at all that juicy experience points. So my attack is finally max level, and I still have two life and magic level ups to get. So at this point, there's literally, like, nothing left to do before the fifth dungeon, so we can just use our boots to hop on over to the fifth dungeon now. Not even joking. Like, there's, there's no villages to get anymore. At least not till we beat the fifth dungeon. Hello. Oh, nothing in that statue. Interesting. So I like the color scheme of this dungeon. Green is my favorite color. And it matches Link very nicely. So we got Piranha Points back. The nice thing is, because our attack is max level, we should be able to kill most of this stuff in one hit. We're probably going to want to level up our life a few times. <laughs> or maybe even just once would be nice. Alright. We're going to need the fairy spell. And we cannot pick up the key as a fairy because we can't use our sword. So instead we need to leave the screen and then come back. Yeah, eat the upstab. Upstab helps you defeat Bubbles. Even if it does jerk you away from the bubble. Alright, I just know crumbling bridges, they always put jerk enemies in all over them. Actually, that was probably really stupid of me to pick up that pee bag because I have one life left. <laughs> if I was smart, I would have, you know... Saved it. Okay, I can just one-hit kill Red Iron Knuckles now. This is a dream come true to me. Yeah, attack level ups are really good. Alright, I do know the boss lies behind us, but there's also other stuff behind us. Oh yeah, these fiends! I forget what these guys are named, but they give a ridiculously high amount of experience points if you kill them. It's nearly impossible to get hit on them, because they're... They're almost always invisible. But they give, like, so, so much experience if you kill them. Like, 500, 200, or 500, or something like that. They also have a lot of HP. As you can see, my attack was maxed out. Okay, 200 experience per one. 
That's a lot. Yeah, my attack is maxed out. It still takes two hits to kill them. Oh, yes. Thank you. I couldn't remember if there was... The, eventually you encounter invisible walls in the dungeons, and I want to say this is the one that introduces invisible walls. So, you know, if you ever come to a dead end, just try jumping in the wall. Sometimes that's what you need to do in order for... to find certain stuff. These weird monks, for some reason, are incredibly powerful and give you a lot of experience. Ouch. Thank you. Okay. Here we're gonna just have to let the rocks fall for a bit. Ow. Yeah. Ouch! Okay, you can stop falling, rocks. Seriously. And man, are Poe's just the most annoying enemies of all time, or what? Orange Iron Knuckle. What is this, Dungeon 1? Oh, <gasps> thank you! <laughs> I can't believe I'm still alive, I'll be perfect. Oh, what?! Okay, that's amazing. I, I cannot believe how freaking stinking lucky I'm getting. Yes, I'm waiting to get these guys, because they are worth so much. Cool, there's only one left now. Ah, uh, nope. Okay, get out of the hallway. Man, that guy appears really quickly once you see its shadow. Yeah, he's only on screen for like a quarter of a second that you can actually damage him, so... They are tough to beat, but if you can destroy them, they're, wor they're well worth it. Alright, I know there's gonna be jerk enemies in here. Yep, fish bones. Mixed with red iron knuckles. Pinch me, I am having a nightmare. The worst part is the fish bones also steal your experience. Max attack, they still take free hits to kill. <gasps> Thank you. Alright. I don't think this is the invisible wall room, but I have got to pull up a map, because I actually didn't pull up a map until just now. Let's see. Palace 5 map. Okay, nope. No invisible wall here. We've got to take the long way around. Oh, hi. Uh, yip, 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 yip. Yip, yip. Well, we will get a life level up. 
because of how many enemies are in here. Oh no, get out of here. This is where you do not want to downstab. Link! For crying out loud, so help me. You will get- <sighs> You can't get the- Thank you. Wow, he actually knocked me up there. Ouch. That room is just pure evil. Oh, hey. Free experience. I like it when they spawn, like, just adjacent to you. Oh, hi. Okay, what the heck? I jumped over him. Take that, take that. Ooh, yes. Yes, please. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, it says 9,000 experience points to level up attack again. It will not level up attack. It'll literally just say, still say level 8, and you won't get any more powerful. Yeah, come on over here, man. You want to die too, don't you? Alright, but... We do want to go down this elevator. Let's see... Which way, which way... I'm looking at the map, trying to figure out where I am exactly. Alright. Oh wow, it's a Wookiee. It's been a while. Again, that was probably a mistake to get that. But it's okay. Hi, Red Iron Knuckle. Oh, you've got a key? Yeah, I need that key. Let's see, if we keep going down... Okay, yeah, we're gonna want to keep going down here before going that way. Again, handy to have a map on y handy on you. Because this way will take us to a pea bag and another key. These guys now die in free hits. That's wonderful. And I can't believe how easy it is for me to take out bubbles now. Ouch. <laughs> oh my- Wow! The game is being so nice to me all of a sudden. Granted, I have gone through hell to get to where I am, but still. I also do remember the fifth dungeon is not as bad as some of the other ones. Much like Dungeon 7 in Zelda 1, where it's like, oh wow, like, this is really easy. It's just Garayas everywhere. <laughs> Take me home. Actually, not home. Take me back here, because there is, like, half the dungeon to explore over here. Hi. That was a good one, man. I gotta give you that. But I'm better. Oh, there's another one? Whoa! I killed him just in one go. I managed to get two downstabs in on him. That's... That's impressive, if I do say so myself. Oh, 
Oh boy. I actually will equip shield against these guys. Just because more often than not, the only way I can actually damage them is to do the downstab through them. Which requires you taking damage. Yep, that's the invisible wall. That's the really jerkish part of the dungeon. But actually, the key through the other wall is an indicator that there is something down here. So at least it's not completely out of the blue. But it kind of is. Man, okay, wow. I forgot how many of these guys the game throws at you. It's pretty nice. Because they're nowhere near as annoying as Blue Iron Knuckles. And I suppose because I've seen a couple Blue Iron Knuckles, this dungeon is really hard if you're not at max attack and have very high levels and everything else. He spawned in the elevator. That's That doesn't seem right. Alright. Mm, yes, we are so going down here. There's something very good down here that we need. Ah, uh, nope. Oh no, not you guys! Why? What did I do to deserve this? out of here, infinitely spawning dog heads. You're not wanted here. Ouch. You know what? Forget... Okay, those guys are not worth killing if they're infinitely spawning dog heads everywhere. Hi. Let me guess. Orange, then red, then blue. Or just orange, then blue. Yeah, that, sure, that works. No. I must get through you, because we get the whistle! Oh yeah, that's a jerkish move on the game developer's part. If you take, uh, you can take damage while doing the you got an item animation. Terrible design. The whistle is literally used for one thing in the entire game, and it's just to get to the next hemisphere. Ooh, there are two of them in here. Okay. Oh no, not the, nope, nope, I'm out. I'm out of here. Nope. I am out of here. Get away from me, infinitely spawning dog heads. Oh, hello, you. Oh no. I'm running fast out of HP. Oh no. I thought for sure that would give me a magic, uh, uh, red magic jar. Oosh. Whoa, he spawned literally off screen. That's interesting. All right, if I can just reach that key. No! Oh, 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 oh. Well, hey, we did a lot today. We finished the fourth dungeon, and we made it through most of the fifth dungeon. Like, I think there was one key back there that I still need to get. But besides that... Actually, we don't even need to go back to get that key because we're going to the next hemisphere next episode. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. I hope to see you there. Have a great day and God bless.